Talk a little bit about how the season ended for you guys. Well, it ended on a good note for us going down to South Florida and playing uh, just the way the whole thing kind of came together was kind of surreal. Um, we played South Florida on a Wednesday night. I uh, don't remember the gate, date, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, had a very good game. Uh, L.J. Bryant took off and was the L.J. Bryant that we'd hoped to see all season. Uh, we had a comeback win on the road at a site, uh, South Florida, a major Division One program, for beating them for the second time this season. Um, and we had more fans in the stands than they did, which was you know great for our fan base down the Tampa area. But I think it was kind of a, I was, I felt like it was kind of a doorway for what we were getting ready to do because I thought this team was going to be pretty good. And uh, they played like it that night. And I, I, I think that would have been the momentum we were looking for to build going into the, what would be conference play right now this weekend. So I uh, was very excited about the way that the, the season ended, although we didn't know it was ending that night for us. But we played a good baseball team on the road and really came together as a team. And I thought that was going to be a catalyst for pushing us forward. And then we get on the bus and, you know, slowly things start to develop. The NBA canceled their season that night. So it was really surreal. Uh, you know, you didn't have to say a whole lot to players because they were following it so closely on their phone. And so that leads us to where we are now with a lot of questions. And there are more questions and answers right now. You know, hopefully by mid-April, I think the NCAA has shut everything down in terms of even recruiting until mid-April. But hopefully by, you know, um, another couple of weeks that we'll have a, a few more answers sometime after Easter and be able to start figuring out where we go from here in terms of next season, in terms of this summer. Um, so there are a lot of questions right now, and, and there aren't a whole lot of answers, unfortunately, for us right now as coaches. Uh, it's just... Uh, you know, I think we were going to have put together a pretty good season. I was looking forward to it. And certainly the last game we played was an indication that things were going in the right direction for us. Coach, you, uh, you talked a little bit about South Florida, but, um, you know, the highlight obviously in this shortened season had to be sweeping South Florida for the first time in school history. Yeah, we, uh, we played well against them. We got them the first game of the season um, and uh, kind of caught them at the right time then at home. Uh, we were kind of, they were coming off a weekend series. We didn't play to open up the, the weekend, the, the college baseball season. So we were a little more fresh on Monday and caught them. Uh, and then we just played our best baseball when we went down there to play. And we, again, we had a great fan support down there from our fan base uh, in the Tampa area. Uh, and we just beat them. I mean, we, we were the better team that night. And, and uh, I was proud of the way we played. And again, I, I think that showed what we were capable of doing and what I honestly had expected a little earlier than this uh, but we do play a tough schedule to start with uh, we don't we don't hide from anybody we'll go on the road and play if we need to um, but I felt like the South Florida game uh, the whole series with them winning both games was certainly something that didn't surprise me because I think we were I thought we were capable of that and again I just thought that last game was our best game all year and I thought it was kind of a, a, a would have been a catalyst to you know, put us, push us forward through the rest of the season, the momentum to, to play the way we were capable of playing. Coach, obviously, you know, the season was cut short, but what have you done to occupy your time <laughs> now, that there, now that there is no baseball? Yeah, it's been kind of hard for somebody that's a little bit hyper like I am. And, uh, I mean, it's, we went, you know, spring break was last week, and, and I, I didn't know what to do. I, you know, I, didn't, I even had to come in to ask the administration if we were – supposed to be in the office because I've never had a spring break before you know as a player in high school and then in junior college and then you know four-year school or Florida State and then uh, playing professionally and then going right into coaching so you know being at the high school level then at the, at the division one level uh, so spring breaks were a foreign language for most baseball players and coaches and it certainly was for us so it's been hard to find things to uh to occupy my time. I'm trying not to get on my wife's nerves too much. I'm trying to spend a, you know, a little time every day in the office here just to, so I don't get behind and so that when the NCAA does open this thing up, we're ready to go and, and uh, put together a team that's going to be very competitive next year.